Thank you for the chance to come here to explain about our company, Picosan. And I would like to, like to uh, also explain what we can do for a cleaner world. This is the most difficult part of my presentation. Please try to bear with me. The rest is really easy. So how to make money with this technology. What is atomic layer deposition? It's a technique where you can coat three-dimensional structures, no matter how small they are, even nanostructures, uh, conformally, meaning that it will coat everything on the surface, and controllably, meaning that you will have the same thickness everywhere, without pinholes, meaning that it is continuous everywhere. And it's based on a technology developed in Finland. It's based on a sequential chemical reactions via well-separated pulses of chemicals. And we can make oxides, we can make pure metals, and we can make nitrides, even sulfides. Uh, there's a long list of materials that can be made with this technology. So about our company, Picosan, we were established in 2003, but we have the uh, experience in ALD since 1974 when it was invented by our do Dr. Tuomas Suntola, who is our board member, and our CTO Sven Lindfors has made uh, ALD tools continuously since 1975. And, and also we have uh, Professor Jorma Routti and some other key players in this field in our, our board. And we are focusing only on ALD, meaning that we want to be number one in ALD, and, and we have assumed this position already in the, in the R&D of ALD, and, and selling ALD tools for the R&D field. And now we have made the quantum leap to go into the production by ALD for various, various companies and various applications. Our mission is to make uh, ALD tools that are superior in performance uh, for both R&D and industrial purposes worldwide. So more than 90% of our customers are uh, abroad. Most of them are in Japan or USA or, or China, and, and most of our sales is also going to Asia. So uh, we want to establish a system where we can uh, have a smooth transition from R&D to production with ALD tools. And we have succeeded in making a, such a system which has now won a lot of uh, space in the production world for, for MEMS and, and sensors. But there are a lot of clean tech applications also. So I will speak shortly about those. About Picosan, we have had four consecutive years which we have made a little profit and now our six month sales is larger than 5 million euros and we aim at 50 million in 2014. And during this terrible recession, we, we were growing all the time. First fiscal year 20%, then 50%, and now the first quarter we grew already 400% from the last year. So this 50 million, we will, we will not achieve alone. We will surely have with just the quotations we now have out, we will surely make 10 million sales. And 20 million we can do alone, but uh, for 50 million we need strong partners to open doors for the industry leading companies. So we are making R series tools for research and P series for production. And the production tools are similar in design, but they are scaled up. We use huge batches that can have hundreds of silicon wafers, for example, in one run. And then we have fully automated those, so they will be integrated in the production line. In clean tech, ALD has endless possibilities. The previous speaker told about TCO films and how to, how to replace them. Well, we can make TCO films with ALD, with doped zinc oxide. We can make also barriers for solar cells with ALD. We can make uh, different films for CIGS and si crystalline silicon solar cells, but also for disensitized solar cells. So no matter what technology will prevail, in the end, there will be such nanostructures 
that have to be controlled and ALD is a must. It has to be adapted in this technology. So if you want to contact us, we know how to code graphene also. We have a Finnish national project on that. So besides solar, we have uh, fuel cells, which will have ALD, uh, not only the catalyst, but there are so solid oxide fuel cells. Then we have to protect the metal parts of fuel cells also. There's uh, super condensators and different storage tanks for hydrogen that need nanofilms. There's uh, uh, different uh, applications in flexible packaging. So not only packaging of electronics, but also uh, packaging of, of medicine or food. So this is something which we are developing with VTT, the Technical Research Center of Finland. And there are solutions for clean water. We need to make membranes to purify water, but those membranes have to be, have to be self-cleaning, and we can make those membranes self-cleaning. But not only that, we can tune the size of the pores in the membranes. So these are just some of the endless possibilities that ALD has in clean tech. So I came here with the idea that I will just present our company, and I'm open for discussions both with uh, partners for financing and, and for, for taking this wonderful technology into use. Thank you. Thank you very much. 400% in one quarter, certainly that's a very good result. Um, I have a question that goes back to what you said, that the technology was already invented some, some, some 25, 35 years yes. ago. Um, that, that brings me to the question, the knowledge you have, and is, is, is there still any way to protect this by IP, or what is the knowledge, how can you protect it? So thanks for a very good question. So, uh, we protect our know-how. Our policy is to protect our IP and all the inventions, how to make these tools, we patent. That's it. And you still have patents in place there. They, yes, they, have not, they have not filed many, many years ago and are, are not valid yeah. anymore. They're still, you continue to file patents. Yes, yes. You have to, have to make continuous design and uh, continuous development of the tools. How to make them faster, how to make them uh, better, how to automate them. There's lots of things you can patent around the tools. Okay. Thank you. So ALD is quite a sort of general process for a number of applications, like you, you said, but uh, if for some reasons you just have to choose two or three, what would be the applications? Okay, that's tough. Well, definitely electronics manufacturing, because that's what we do all the time. But then there's um, lighting and solar, so I would choose those two because of the huge potential. Future potential or current? Future potential, right. yes. My question may be an extension of the previous one, but uh, first, it's great to see uh, sales and meeting customers and, and getting traction, so congratulations on that. But in the process of engaging with customers, and you mentioned many, many possible applications for this technology. That's both, in many ways, a blessing, but also a challenge to actually decide which market can you serve incredibly well. What have you learned in the, in, the, in the engagements you've had with customers, and what have they told you about your product that is changing your business model? Well, first of all, we learned during these decades how to make tools which don't have particle problems, which are fast to maintain, and, and what is the customer's problem, how can we solve it. So it's depending on the industry, of course, but, but, but we know better than to start start coding something silly, which wouldn't make any sense. Because this is a nanotechnology, we don't compete with painting or with, uh, with uh, sputtering. If you can do it with sputtering, forget about it. So we have to limit what we are doing. So, so the, the, the obvious high margin, high need market would be which one? Is it? Well, of course, all the markets where you have high-value added products which are enabled by this technology. So electronics, uh, batteries, uh, fuel one. cells. Big one. <laughs> yeah. And uh, there's actually two different applications in, in the new 
uh, solid batteries that we can do with ALD. Okay. So these kind of applications, if it's flat and if it's thick films and if it's low value added product, we don't do it. Uh, a very quick question, as this is a clean tech uh, related conference, is the process itself also energy efficient or cleaner as competing uh, technologies? Yes, in a sense, uh, you can use the molecules more effectively and you can even consume all the metal precursor because uh, it is only occurring on the surfaces, this reaction. So with the common CVD, it's like spraying stuff and then most of it is wasted. But, but uh, now we consume energy everything. Energy efficiency? So for energy, energy efficiency, it's also we, we use lower temperatures than in CVD because we can uh, because we separate the precursors from each other, we can use uh, highly reactive gases, which are essentially bringing the thermal budget okay. down a lot. Okay. Thank you again.